They've worked on the front lines during the pandemic to save people from dying, but who protects the nurses when patients fight back? As News Channel 5's Kyle Horan shows us, there's a bill in the state legislature to increase penalties on those who attack health care workers. I had three patients at the time. For six years, it stuck with Jimmy Klosser. Unfortunately, I was strangled, um, punched, kicked, slapped, clawed. A stroke coordinator and nurse at Vanderbilt, Klosser says he was helping a patient who became violent. Out of nowhere, um, I, I got hit in the face and um, grabbed my stethoscope and lanyard, which I had around my neck, and I didn't have a breakaway lanyard on. And so as we went down and fell to the bed, um, you know, she, the patient was screaming, I want to kill you. This was back in 2015. The patient was charged, but after a couple of years, there was no punishment for Klosser's attacker. It's all too common in the nursing world. Patients attack and nothing happens. Kathleen Murphy with the Tennessee Nurses Association says this is something many medical professionals thinks just comes with the territory, but she says it shouldn't. The reality is, is one in four nurses are assaulted on the job and up to 20% or more often do not get reported because it's not going to be followed through on or it's going to fall through the cracks. Tine's stats show it's a problem and Murphy and state lawmakers are trying to make people who attack nurses pay a higher price. They want to increase the penalty for assault on a nurse from a class A misdemeanor to a felony class C. That nurse um, should not be having to choose between protecting their own life and giving the patient the care that they need. Closter says others who have been attacked haven't spoken out because they've heard of his case and believe nothing will happen. When this happens to healthcare workers, they want to quit. He says he hopes to testify on the bill. Kyle Horan, News Channel 5.